So we first divide our uh, a for pi into four equal parts, as you see. So it's giving us thirty cm. So here's fifteen in the center part. Then here is giving us twenty one. So we're having ten point five. So ten point five here. Good. So you are the center. So we divided our a for pi into four equal parts. I'm hoping you watch this video in my channel where I taught the basics in the first angle projection, how to draw the first angle projection and the three views, both third angle projection. They will move straight to this video. Let's watch. We'll be using this work here and for us to start, we'll first draw the front view. So now we we'll take the diameter just as it is, just the way it is calibrated. So in that video, you will see the calibrations there, the ones we used. So now we use the calibration. But this time around, we're not drawing a 3D block. We're just drawing a plain shape. It's just a plain shape, the way the shape is given. That is how we're going to draw it, plain like that, on the a paper. So it's not going to be in any degree, in any angle. It's just be plain. So we'll first have the front view. As you can see from our work, this is the front view, then this is the side view, and this is the top. That's the plan. So front view will be here, side view will be here, top or plan will be here. And remember, it's always one centimeter away from the paper. So this is where our center line is. We divided it. So when we are doing, we always draw one centimeter away. What do I mean? From here, we measure out one cm. We mark we measure out one cm out of it from here. Here, seem to measure out one cm out, one cm out. So now, join. We have to start from this one cm we measured. I hope you're getting me. Though you understand what I'm talking about when we start joining. Also, same meeting here. We measure out one centimeter from the line, one cm from the line. So now we draw without one cm space. That's where our work will start from. Same thing all over. So let's have it. So for the front view, let's mark our one cm out at all, at all sides. So that's the first thing you have to do. Good. We have to mark our one cm. Then, using this distance, this point, we we'll now mark out the one cm. Good. We do same thing here. Mark our one cm. Do same thing all over. So also I'll mark out one here. Also come here. Mark out one same. So we marked out one seam at all four given sides. The next thing we are going to do now is draw our front view, the front elevation. So as you can see, we have our first mark, the other mark, the other one, the other one, like that. We also add here. This is giving us one. This is giving us. One. So you had that all sides. So at our front view, we're having the down diameter to be 4 cm. So starting from here, we have to do the 4 cm. Starting from here, we'll do the 4 cm. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Good. Now the top, the vertical line is giving us 1.5. So, using these parts, we draw the 1.5 cm here. So here is 1.5. Then, do same thing here. And 
join the line. So now we have the front view of our block. As you can see, this is the front view. So over to the side view. So for the side view now, we'll start from here to draw. Good. So now the down part is giving us diameter of 6 cm according to our drawing in the first video in our channel. So we we'll have to draw the down part here using these base dots. That is one centimeter distance. Okay. So we'll draw what 6 cm, which is giving us this. That's our 6 cm giving us. Then for the vertical line, it's giving us 1.5. So we have to draw 1.5. Then we'll come here. So join this part. So this is for the side. So we join the front, the side. So now we'll go over to the top. So for the top part, we we'll start the join from this part here. Remember, close to the line. That's this one same from the line. That's where we we'll start our work. So we we'll start our work from here. So for the top, for the up part, we're having diameter of six centimeter. So you see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we draw the down part, which is diameter of four centimeter. So from here, four centimeter. So we have to draw this other part here. Same four centimeter. From here. Then join this other part. Good. So the top is giving us six centimeter. Then this other part is giving us four centimeter. So this is the horizontal, the vertical. All right. So looking at it, if we carry that block upwards, that is giving us this straight view we are seeing, this plain uh, view we are having. So that joint is when we keep it in the plain view, not no more in the 3D view. In a 30 degree projection, but it's being plain, it's giving us what we are having here. As you can see, we have our first angle projection the front view, the side view, and the top view. And as a follow to the video, I know you learned something, and I know you want to implement what you've learned. So remember, one centimeter away from the line we've divided, we we'll measure out one centimeter at all parts of that line. Then that's where we start our work. From that one centimeter, we start drawing our uh, plain views, our three views. All right. So over to the next video, you will learn how to draw first angle projection, a more complex block, for better understanding. Watch out for the next video. So I actually did this video as a beginner's video for beginners to help them understand. The basic steps in first angle projection this time in my channel as you stay consistent you will notice that i'm dropping new videos more complex on how to draw complex blocks and also with time i'll teach you how to draw a block using the first angle projection that means you'll be giving only the three views the front view side view and the top view and you use the views to construct a block you also learn about that with time in my video so stay tuned in my channel i hope you enjoyed the video do well to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.